time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, for which I'm joined in the studio by Catalina Marchand de Abreu. Hi there, Catalina. Um, now, we're going to review a photograph that claims that Ukrainian soldiers are, quote, caged like dogs. Tell us more about this. Indeed, a resurfaced photo on social media claims to show a Ukrainian soldier imprisoned in a cage. As most posts say, uh, they are imprisoned in what seems to be dog cages uh, by the Azov Battalion, the far-right neo-Nazi military group that became part of Ukraine's armed forces. Uh, obviously, many are claiming a violation to human rights. This user on Twitter claims that this was done by uh, the Russians right here. But most users do claim that this is a doing of the Azov Battalion imprisoning their soldiers like dogs. This is actually a resurfaced image from at least a three, four years ago, maybe more according to our research. But this photo actually depicts a Ukrainian soldier. This is true from the 54th uh, Brigade who was imprisoned for his constant use of alcohol. Uh, when we did a reverse image search, we fell upon uh, this news report from 2017 uh, in Ukrainian from a Ukrainian news channel reporting on how Ukraine was caging its soldiers to stop them from drinking alcohol. Uh, apparently at the time there was a huge alcohol problem within the Ukrainian army. Uh, they even called it an epidemic and uh, that had to be dealt with under very strict conditions. Uh, the men were hence shoved into these caves to prevent them from getting drunk. Uh, apparently this is an issue that the Ukrainian army has been dealing with for a long time, according to this report from BBC Ukraine from 2014, titled Ukrainian Army and Alcohol, Who Wins? Uh, this was also reported by the Kiev uh, Post. Uh, on 2015, they say tanked up Ukrainian troops are crammed into small cages as punishment for getting drunk. Uh, but they do show uh, and the Donbas region. This was also reported by the Daily Mail. Uh, they published this story more into detail. We're not going to make this our primary source of information. But they do show more photos of this happening. Uh, but we're obviously not going to sit here and say that alcoholism is only a problem that exists within U the Ukrainian army. There's also lots of reports on Russian soldiers abusing alcohol throughout this war. And alcoholism is, of course, a worldwide issue. Uh, soldiers are definitely exposed to uh, extremely stressful situations. Tom. Yeah, and also very cold as well. And uh, some say that... Uh a drink like that can warm you up, although I think it's An actually... An alcohol blanket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, let's, uh, speaking of alcohol, turn our eye to a pub <laughs> in Jerusalem uh, because it's changed its name or it's had a bit of a rebranding exercise in response to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Indeed, a pub in Jerusalem named Putin Pub allegedly rebranded its name to Zelensky Pub. At least this is what some users on social media wants us to believe. We found these posts circulating online. The Putin Pub in Jerusalem has changed its name. And you can see the picture, allegedly, Zelensky Pub. Another post, the Putin Pub in Jerusalem, has officially renamed. Here was the photo from the before and after. And here in Jerusalem, the Putin Pub was renamed in honor of Zelensky Photo credit Michael Bross, ambassador of Israel to Ukraine. So apparently he also reposted this picture. This user says it seems that Israeli ambassador in Ukraine has deleted this tweet about Jerusalem's Putin pub and renaming itself to Zelensky pub. I assume that means that the photo shared was fake and it was fake indeed. Uh, this was a photoshopped image here. Uh, we could see that uh, after 15 years, the Putin pub renamed its uh, pub to, uh, well, well say what it renamed to it renamed here we could see that it was putin pub it's closed on a trip advisor and it rebranded to generation pub so here we can obviously um corroborate that they do have the same addresses they do coincide for putin pub and generation pub and, and on their official facebook page in their page transparency section you could see that on march 10th 2022 some weeks after the war began they did change their name to generation a pub right there and on march 7th they also posted this dear friends we ask you all to ignore the fake news that the bar will now be named after zelensky this is not true and the execution of inexperienced of photoshoppers so this has been circulating for a while this was also this uh, uh, controversial rebranding was also on the local news in the Times of Israel. Popular Jerusalem bar scraps Putin name after Ukraine invasion. Uh, but this is not uncommon after Ukraine's invasion. Lots of uh, bar owners have uh, decided to do a bit of rebranding. Uh, I've seen this myself. Lots of Moscow mules uh, rebranded to Kiev mules. Uh, we've seen that happen sometimes, Tom. But there you have it. 
Yep, that reminds me of, yeah, lots of things like that in the past. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Katerina Marchandia. Thank you for today's edition of Truth or Fake.